Hi, this is Ray Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about Pluto in retrograde. That's right. Actually, Pluto started in its retrograde energy on January 6th of this year, and on April 29th, it will enter full retrograde status for the next five months until October 8th, and then it will go into post-shadow, kind of that speed-up time zone, um, until um, January 29th of 2023. So it's going to be in retrograde, and it really has affected all of our 2022. From the beginning to the end, it is going to be um, in some type of retrograde status, and so it's one of those it's going to affect a lot of people. And because Pluto's so far out there, the further out the planet is, the more it affects each like country, each person, it kind of just is more strong in that area. So this is one that's going to be kind of um, rattling some cages, rattling some energies, and some rattling some things that people thought they kind of like unconsciously don't want to deal with. It's going to be coming up and it already has. Um, it's one of those um, Pluto as kind of like the cosmic um, leader of the underworld and kind of like that underground energy that people don't really want to know about. Um, is going to be kind of um, kind of projecting a lot of energy on us and kind of bringing up a lot of defense mechanisms. You're going to see this for a lot of people of, no, that wasn't me, no, that wasn't her, no, it wasn't blah, 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 and a lot of finger pointing um, as well, kind of like, it's not me, it's her, and that's part of that Capricorn energy as well, kind of like keeping things um, hidden on, as well as Pluto energy um, kind of during this time. Um, you may feel um, a lot of intensity uh, from this retrograde cycle, and this is going to kind of bring us into an introspective of kind of like, what do I have to work on? What do I need to take care of? And bringing kind of like some new insights into ourselves. And this could also bring us some new insights into the people around us, the ones that are closest to us as well. Um, Pluto has been in the, in the sign of Capricorn from 2008 until 2024. And this is all about reconciling issues and financial kind of like, um, kind of looking at things financially a little bit differently and kind of getting, where did the money go? Where, did, where are we tracing down the money or who took the money? Where are we going to find it? And so this is going to be some really interesting energy, um, in play. And this is going to impact a lot of environmental stuff, kind of like, where did the money go and where is, where do we want to follow? this too. So just know that this is a very strong energy. Um, it is going to be affecting a lot of people. I'll be talking about that um, at least doing an update once a month so you kind of know what's really going to impact us the most with uh, Pluto in retrograde because it really does. And it's going to impact us more because there's a lot of energy of a lot of planets going into retrograde all at the same time. And then we also have our eclipse energy right at the end of April, right when all of this happens. So this is going to be bringing some strange energies and kind of eclipsing some things of thought we were going to work through, but now we're not, or things that we didn't think we were going to work through. Now we are. So let's get all of the information for us. So let's pull some angel cards and get us a little bit more information about all things Pluto in retrograde in 2022. This one is popping out. This is all about freedom. Pluto is uh, kind of like our um, personal energy, our projection of what we want to do and kind of like um, we don't want things to come out. We've kind of like pushed things down, but it's going to want its own freedom. It's going to want to see the light of day. It's going to want to do that. And especially when this goes into retrograde right around that same time as that eclipse, it's going to want to burst out more. And I wouldn't doubt that there's going to be some personal things coming out about global leaders around that same time frame. So just know that this is something um, that they've wanted to keep hidden for a long time and now it's popping forward and they can't deny it. So it's going to be quite an interesting time healing. This is also a very healing time. Pluto is kind of all about the stuff that we've didn't want to look at the things that we're kind of like, I'd rather push that aside. And this can bring up a lot of old energy, um, things like 
things from your past that you don't want to deal with anymore. Um, this could bring a kind of um, energy for different people at different times. Um, last time Pluto was um, in retrograde, I had a lot of clients that were dealing with a lot of things from their childhood, uh, being molested or raped as young children, um, kind of bringing that energy forward. And so you may see that um, this time as well, kind of like, I didn't want to remember this or I didn't want to work through this and it's going to like be popping forward for us. So it's going to be bringing some amazing energy um, in that perspective. Study. There may be some things that you need to study about yourself or study around the people that are closest to you. Kind of how are they dealing with this energy? How are they working through all of this? And do you see things that can't be put down anymore? Um, I've had clients that um, thought they had dealt with things and then all of a sudden like, boom, it's up in the limelight one more time. And that's all about this Pluto in retrograde energy because anything you try to hold down, it's going to be popping forward over and over again. So let's pull one last card about Pluto in retrograde. I got a couple of them going. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Um, signs. There are signs when people have been hiding stuff from us, there are signs and we have to be looking for those signs because they're really thinking like, I'm really sneaky. I can really hide this, but it's going to keep coming up. And it's one of those, the more they keep pushing it down, the more the energy wants to come see that light of day to kind of like bring it to the truth, bring it out so we can talk about it, heal it, move it forward and keep going on. So this is a great time to kind of hold on to that energy and and uh, kind of keep moving forward. I, they're just telling me I've got to do one more card. Okay, what's the last one? Okay, this is the last one. Sorry. Got to do what the angels talk about. This is some new beginnings because if someone can't hold you down with what was in the past, if you kind of give yourself this new beginning, like talking about it instead of waiting for someone else to bring it up, that was my past and now I've changed or modified. Anything that um, you're wanting to bring new energy into is going to do it very quickly um, in this because you've brought it to the light of day. You've talked about it. You've kind of cleared it out and you've kind of like, okay, now I'm letting it go because I've worked through it. This is a great time to do that in and to allow that energy to not only bring healing to ourselves, but healing to our families and our friends and that sort of thing. Because usually a lot of times they know that we're hiding things from them, but they don't know what it is. And sometimes they're kind of like, I'm kind of scared to kind of ask what it could be. But it's important that, that you kind of bring it to light as much as you choose to do, as much as you choose to work through. It doesn't mean you have to bring it all forward, but this is a great time to do that. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.